Hi, it's Kelly here today. Today we're going to learn about chemistry and starting with chromatography. Chromatography, chromatography is a process that separates compounds from a mixture, well, such as ink. There are two parts or phases. The stationary phase is the paper. Well, as this does not move, the mobile phase is the liquid or gas that flows through the stationary phase, separating the mixture. The compounds are separated because they have different solubilities. Key facts: Chromatography is a way of separating compounds from mixtures. Chromatography involves a stationary phase and a mobile phase. Some chemicals move further through the stationary phase than others. The RF value shows how far the chemicals move compared to the mobile phase. Making a chromatogram. All you need to make a chromatogram is a photo paper, a pencil. A selection of inks, some water, and a container to keep the water in. Follow these steps to create a chromatogram. A chromatogram is the physical result of a chromatography. Use a pencil to draw a line near the bottom of the paper. Add spots of ink to the line. Hand the paper above a dish of water, with the paper's edge in the water. Two, the mobile phase. Water rises up the stationary phase paper, carrying the ink with it. The more soluble a solute is, the higher it will rise. Clip suspended on rod holds the paper in place. Ensure you use pencil, not pen, to draw the baseline. If you use pen, its ink surface. Its ink will interfere with the experiment. Place water below the baseline so the inks are not washed away. The paper is the stationary phase. The water is the mobile phase. Calculating RF value. The RF value is a measurement of how far a substance travels through the stationary phase, compared to how far the mobile phase. Travels. If the chromatogram is repeated using ink with the same dye and the RF value is the same, the substances are pure. Three, the inks collect in spots of different distances up up the paper. The resulting pattern is called a chromatogram. Four. Use a ruler to measure the distance each die has traveled from the baseline. The farthest distance the mobile phase has traveled is called the solvent front. Use a pencil to mark the solvent front on the paper.